on voice inflection, you will have a professor who will use a facial expression that you stupid facial expression to keep you from asking a question in class. But I did groups where I would do, we got a worksheet. We, got, we do groups, I did skits, and I got a worksheet that got facial expressions on them. And this worksheet that got different facial expression got lines under it, and they have to write the lines that that facial expression activate, then they had to write the deactivation code. Huh? And then we would do skits where I would do these, I would try to intimidate them in class, and I would, I would be the professor, and I, they would ask the question, and I'd be like, oh. <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Brown, you have another question. Huh? And they had to deactivate in that moment. And because it was a process denial. So first, let me give you a definition for process amnesia. I define this particular disorder as a debilitating condition in which the afflicted individual forgets the process by which he or she acquired certain information. The person stricken with this malady or illness also forgets the process by which he or she internalized or mastered the policies and procedures for proper application of the information. A major symptom of process amnesia is harshly criticizing and belittling others who are in the early stages of information uh, acquisition. Or I, I could also add that they're in the early stages of learning the policies and procedures for proper application of the of this information now this is just a disorder i invented it says, it says and you will know the truth and in the greek the word no means you will have a personal relationship with the truth then the truth will set you free see i have a personal relationship with the truth that i should brush my teeth I don't struggle. My toothbrush does not have dust on it. I don't have to call five people and talk about whether or not I'm going to brush my teeth. I don't have to read uh, a book about the importance of brushing my teeth every morning. I don't have to have a motivational speaker in the background every morning telling me, Anisha, brush your teeth. You can do it. You can do it. Anisha, brush your teeth. You can do it. You know why I don't have to? Because I have a relationship with that information. But there's a lot of truth we know, and we can quote it, but we don't have a relationship with that information. We have not internalized it, and that is why we are not free. So then let's look at people are only tolerating you. That issue, that's remember, it's unconscious. People who struggle with that issue don't go around saying, hey, I feel like people are only tolerating me. So I feel really insecure around people. A lot of people have that issue. And so it's, you're in a group, and say half of your clients are in pre-contemplation, the other half are, are in contemplation, but they court mandated. <laughs> so you may have some clients acting as if, yes, I am only tolerating you. I'm only tolerating being here. I'm complying. I don't want to be here. And that's okay. They don't have to want to be there. There's a lot of people who have 20 or 30 years clean today who came to recovery by way of a nudge from the judge. So our job is not to uh, be upset because a client doesn't want to, they acting like they're only tolerating us. That may be the case. My job is to give you the information. But if I got that issue, it's okay if I have all of these issues on this slide. I just need to know I have them. I need to know what the triggers are, what facial expressions, vocal talk, voice inflections, and body language triggers my, it triggers these issues. And I also need to know how to deactivate in real time when I feel triggered so I can stay focused on the content of the material I'm supposed to cover. It's easy to, 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 to conquer compared to others. You come up short on one level, but how you, how do you really feel at the next level? And see, some people have went to a conference or convention with the next level people and they were so activated they made they made a decision right there that they wasn't going so that's why you need ongoing coaching the last group of people are the activation avoiders now they're similar to the contract signers but these are people who have carefully designed their lives so that they don't encounter much activation stimuli meaning that they avoid people and situations in which they will be activated 
they relegate themselves to living in a carefully manufactured bubble. 